is Ivy and today I'm going to be doing a wig review from a company called WowAfrican.com. Now I had never heard of this company before so I did get on YouTube and do some research and I seen that they had a bunch of wig reviews already and from the videos they seem to have really nice hair. So when you first get your wig inside you will have a kind of like a care um, a special care and tips for curly hair and it'll just have like all their social media stuff on the back and i also got a thank you card i don't know if they do this all the time but this thing is kind of like a happy holiday thing and again guys from my last video sorry about the lighting situation i will have um my new lights like next week or something so i only have a couple more weird tone videos because it it just looks a little yellow and dark and you guys might not be able to see that well. So the wig that I got was a silk top wig. And this wig is, uh, I believe it's like 22 inches, but it looks a little bit longer. I'm gonna post a clip of it when I first got it. The silk was just entirely too bright for a brown skin girl like myself. So I had to tint the silk. If you guys wanna know how I tint the silk, Please check the bottom bar. It will be a link um, showing you guys how I tint silk based closures. So this wig is a full lace stretchable cap. It does have adjustable straps in the back and it came with three combs. And I got the smallest cap size that they have available because my head is pretty small. So I always have that issue with wigs sometimes. When I get them from companies like this, they might be a little bit too big. But I did get this one in the small size, so hopefully it fits. I just hooked it right there to the last one. So I'm gonna pop it on. I kinda want a side part with this wig, so I'm just gonna apply it like off to the side. So this wig fits really snug and really good. I really like it. This right here is where the silk stops and the lace and my real hair is. Well, now I'm just gonna apply some taupe colored eyeshadow right on that line of demarcation just so it could blend a lot better. So the wig is really nice and full. I don't know if you guys can see it. You should be able to. But it's just a lot of hair on this unit. And this is a 100% human hair unit. I don't remember what type of hair it is, but I will have it in the bottom bar. So please don't forget to check that. The bottom bar has so much information and everything about this wig will be posted down there. I'm just going to uh, wet it just a little bit. I wanna bring out the curl pattern. And when you first get the wig, it does come with a really cute curl pattern. You don't have to, um, you don't really have to co-wash it, but I wanted to co-wash mine because I like more of a loose, natural looking type of curl. So this is the way I usually do mine. The hair feels very soft. It's not tangling as I'm running my fingers through it. I am getting some shedding, but not a whole lot. The hair doesn't have a smell to it because some hair that you get will have that corn chippy type of smell, but this hair smells really fresh. So from the regular lighting clip, how did you guys like how the hair looked? I know it's probably really hard to see, but this wig is gorgeous like this is one of the best 
wigs I've gotten from like a company that pre makes wigs. And the hair texture feels like it will curl really well. I'm pretty sure it would. And it is kind of like a kind of kind of like a medium luster. This hair is on the kind of glossier side and finer side. And if someone was interested, my lipstick is Talk That Talk from the Rihanna Matte Collection. You probably can't see it because like I said, my lighting is weird. I look yellow and gold and weird. So I believe that is it. Please don't forget to thumb this up if you like this video. Comment below telling me if you like these wig reviews and let me know what type of wigs you would like to see me try. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and talk to everybody soon.